Hi guys, it's Yaya. If you haven't guessed by now, the pH is the secret to the color change of butterfly pea. So what we're going to do in this next test is we're going to introduce an acidic solution versus an alkaline solution so that you guys can see how the color changes depending on the pH. Butterfly pea has molecules that absorb different wavelengths of light. This can determine the color that you will see in your final product. This can be very tricky if you're trying to get a certain color because maybe your final product calls for a lower pH, but the lower pH will give you a different color. So what we're going to do is introduce some different uh, ingredients to see what colors can we get at what pH level, okay? For example, if you were to have some butterfly PT and added a lemon, it will probably turn a pinkish purple, okay? So that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're just gonna see what happens to the color depending on the pH level, okay? For this test, we're adding 50% solution of citric acid versus a 0.5% solution of the sodium phytate. Uh, it only took maybe two drops of the citric acid to see a, a significant change versus the sodium phytate. It definitely took a lot more um, in order to see the difference. So the citric acid, of course, is going to lower the pH. If you guys have seen me use this many times before to lower the pH of like my lotions or my hair creams or something like that. So citric acid is definitely uh, the best choice in order to lower the pH. You can see immediately that the color has started to change. It's like a pinkish purplish color. So this indicates that the lower the pH is, the more pinkish purple your final product will be so if you're looking for a purplish color to pinkish color definitely try lowering your pH the final pH of this mixture was 4.5 that's pretty balanced for the skin the skin is naturally around that area as well so if you're looking to balance the pH of your product just know that you will probably get a pinkish purplish color and not that vivid blue color that we initially saw okay this is the difference here between the neutral solution and the more acidic solution this is so good to know just in case you were trying to get this vivid blue color for one of your products like a lotion or a gel and yeah it wouldn't work out once you balance the ph okay now we are mixing up the mixture with the sodium phytate this took a lot more drops in order to get the solution to become more alkaline or basic and as you can see it turned like this greenish blue color and it's very beautiful but it definitely loosened the viscosity it's not as jelly as it was before also this is not very ideal for your skin if you're looking for a more balanced pH you're not gonna get this color so uh, butterfly pea is beautiful it's wonderful vibrant color to work with but depending on the pH of your product then yeah it can really be tricky to work with it's probably better to work with more synthetic colors versus this natural colorant okay this test was definitely eye-opening. I learned a lot about butterfly pea and how pH can affect the color of your final product. So I definitely want to continue to work with and experiment with butterfly pea and other projects that I'm working on as well. Next, I'm going to lower the pH even more to see what will happen if it's in a range between like a 3.5. But first, if you're someone who enjoys learning like I do, you should definitely check out Skillshare. I've been using Skillshare for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. I have been able to enhance skills that I already had while also learning new skills that I didn't even know I wanted to learn. Their selection of classes is just endless. So a lot of you know I have been looking into making soaps as of late. So I've been on there a lot looking up different tools and skill sets that I would want to utilize once I start making my soaps. It's just so easy to keep learning and becoming more creative each and every day. One class by Seema Chowdhury definitely caught my attention because she is a chemist. Not only does she go step by step telling you how to do the formulation she also has a video tutorial where she goes through each step and shows you exactly how she makes shampoos conditioning bars scrubs and other hair and skincare product you can have the confidence in knowing that you're learning from experts in their own field so if you're looking to invest in your future or just learn a new skill 
try out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get one month free of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check out Skillshare now and start making your own creations. All right, for the final test, I'm going to add a little bit more of the citric acid in order to get my pH down to a 3.5. And this is going to turn it really, really pink. Look how beautiful this color is. However, you probably don't want your pH to be that low for most of your skincare, hair care products. However, it could be safe if you're using it to exfoliate your skin. Ingredients like other AHAs, BHAs would be perfect for this pH range, okay? So it just depends on what product you're making, the color you will get when using Butterfly Pea. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you did. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I want you to stay. I want